the alternative dig talk real issues real talk fellow citizens following the sequence of events uganda seems to be at political crossroads i'm not a servant of anybody madam i know the law as such Alternative Digital brings you the Interfest show with retired Colonel Dr. Kiza Vesuje. Let's keep on the same page on Alternative Digital. As he gives you the alternatives on the transition question, rule of law, human rights and freedom, youth inclusion in governance, economic stagnation, as he confirms. I'll be always here Saturday from 10 a.m in the morning be there don't miss the live discussion on the alternative uganda digital tv facebook pages and the alternative uganda youtube channel the alternative dig talk real issues real talk Okay, good morning our viewers. My name is Norman Tumhimbi Seng and um, this is uh, one of those wonderful moments uh, where we are having two Kantakaras gentlemen and you said it's okay calling you Kantakaras and controversial. So you said any normal person should be controversial, no one should be just straight and, and uh, without being controversial. So I have these two controversial gentlemen, a senior citizen, another senior citizen. And uh, we are streaming live on to our social media page. That's the Alternative Uganda Facebook page and Digitalk TV Facebook pages. Later alone, um, after a few minutes, the show will also be on uh, our YouTube channel, The Alternative Uganda. On my left is Mr. Frank Gashumba. Very controversial. That one, I'll, I'll just highlight it. On my right is another controversial professor, Andy Kantakaras. So we want to begin by asking you to say hello to our viewers, and then Mr. Gashumba also say hello to our viewers, and I'll tell the viewers why we are here today. Hello, viewers. I greet you. Uh, viewers, I greet you too. Ah, Baganda would say, no, 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 you are as precise as that. Okay. Mm -hmm. The reason for which we are here is because we are discussing Chapter 3 of the Uganda Constitution. And in particular, we have uh, lots of concerns from our viewers and so many other citizens who have issues and questions to Justice Kanyahamba, who was the chairperson in the Legal and Drafting Committee over the 1995 Constitution. Where in particular, him and his team put and uh, made the Rwanda constitutional citizens of the Republic of Uganda. On my left, there is a gentleman, Frank Gashumba, who has of late, because of the so many concerns and so many issues they have found uh, from other people, uh, name calling them Rwanda, and he has suggested that he, it is high time they change the constitution and make that tribe be Bavandimwe. But I want to go back to Justice Kanyahamba first. A question was in my inbox that if you try to break the word Banyarwanda is to say people of Rwanda. Why did you choose that name to be part of Ugandans when you hear the word Banyarwanda? People of Rwanda now they are in Ugandan constitution. Let's go a bit of history. And it's a, a very pertinent question. When the colonials came and discovered that Uganda, they think, Uganda has never been discovered, but they think they discovered it. There were two people living in a, a place called Kigezi. Yes. In fact, Kigezi region now was named after that lake where those people dominate that part of Kigezi. Mm -hmm. They were called Batusi mm -hmm. and Wahutu. Mm -hmm. Historically, I don't want to go in, their relationship was not very good. Between the Batusi and the yeah, Wahutu? Batusi tended to dominate everything. 
in the district of Kigezi, which was named after a small lake in the district of uh, Bufumbira, mm -hmm. which is a part of Uganda. Bufumbira mm -hmm. is a part of Uganda. But they is dominated mainly by two tribes. Tusi and Bahutu. The Bahutu and the Batusi. The Batusi are related to Bahima and the Masai and the Dinka of Sudan and Kenya. So we debated this. One of the delegates who was actually the chairman of the relationship between the government and the judiciary, Jas Mlenga, is a Mutusi. He, he said, we want to remain Banyarwanda. Because the Banyar, uh, Bany, Banyarwanda in Uganda, uh, Banyarwanda. We don't have to lose our identity as Banyarwanda. Mm. Talking about the Banyarwanda in, in Uganda. Uganda. Okay? Mm. Then the Batus, the, the, the Bahutu, led by ja, the late Justin Tabroba and others said, we do not want to be called Banyarwanda anymore. Mm -hmm. Because we are not, we are in Uganda, mm. in the Bufumbira district. Mm. And we want to be called Bafumbira. Bafumbira. Mm -hmm. So that is the, <laughs> the history decision we had to make. Then eventually we compromised. Mm. We said, let it's them both, both be in the constitution. In, the, in Uganda, be recognized as the two tribes. Bafumbira the, 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 and Banyarwanda. who are urging to be Bafumbira mm. and Banyarwanda the two seas who are urging they want to remain Banyarwanda. And that's what we put in the constitution. And the both sides, we are very happy. I there are but two seas who remain, because they were not very uh, militant about the issue, mm. who remain Bafumbira. But the enemy of two who wants to be Minyarwanda, the constitution of Uganda also says, you are Minyarwanda. Uh, before I cross to, to Mr. Gashumba, I want to ask you this question. Mm -hmm. Because uh, it's just unbelievable that uh, what, uh, such decisions by your colleagues and suggestions were that confusing. In Rwanda, there are three tribes. We have the Tutsi, the Hutu, and Batwa. Why did you choose to come up? Because literally, Banyarwanda is not a tribe per se. It is simply a name to describe people who hail from Rwanda as a country. Couldn't it have been better to say, to have a specific name than saying Banyarwanda uh, in Uganda, like you're saying, than, because literally there is no tribe called Banyarwanda. It's a name that brings about all the three tribes of Rwanda, and then they are called, like people would say, Bana Uganda, Ugandans, so Rwandese. So how, how, you mean, uh, you see, we were, Acting the constitution to reflect the views of the people. Mm. It is the people of Uganda who wear that. Those who are called Vanyarwanda mm. have told you are of two divisions. The Hutu and the Bahutu. And the Tusi. The Bahutu said, We want to be called Bahutu. the Bahutu. Bahutu. We want to be called Bafumbia. Mm. That was the wish of the people, not of us making the constitution. So you were convinced because by that. you are trying that. to see. That we should overrule the people. No. We accept that the people's recommendation, we were acting on the people's. If you remember G G uh, General Muntu, mm. who, who, whose origin is Rwanda. Yeah. For him, I think this was not an issue. But he was in the Constitutional Assembly. Mm. I think he didn't exercise. And if he did, I, I, he most likely took the view that since we are all were Ugandan, then really Either be the Hutu is the proper way. Okay. But people like Mulenga, we are so we are so strict. Said Kabas is still alive. Yeah. Only mm. Kabas is the former solicitor general. They were. They said we must be called Banyarwanda. 
They are Ugandans. Mm. <laughs> How could we deny them? <laughs> so the, the solution we had, mm. I don't see can be faulted because if you fault it, mm. you are saying we should have disobeyed the people of Uganda in making the constitution. And okay. we did it. Okay, uh, Mr. Gashumba, mm. what <laughs> convinces you that you, it's high time you changed the name? Did these people error? I think, first of all, I have to appreciate sharing a, a platform with Professor George Kanyihamba. Mm -hmm. By the way, I had heard about you. Mm -hmm. They have called you that you're a militant like me. <laughs> uh, it's a good to be approved of in a country like Uganda. <laughs> you are most welcome to here. Thank you. And uh, we had a few words to do. I think you are a very good person. Actually, I think if you may recall, we have a civil society organization we run called Simoka Uganda. You were the chief guest at Fairway Hotel. I think it was 2011. Now that we are sharing a platform, uh, we have to thank God. Thank, you, you've given us some information to do with what transpired during the CA. What uh, Professor... Mulenga, and, uh, no, no, Justice Mulenga, Justice Mulenga. Did you say Tabova? Did you mention Tabova? Tabova, Tabova. Tabova. For him, we were saying. Mufumbira judge, what is his name? Is you? He has retired, but he's still around. That was a pro Bafumbira, not the, that's right. Okay. Yes. All those who were well, for, 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 for now, Bafumbira. we at least we are having a crew. You participated in the CA. Judge Tabaro. Uh -huh. mm, Justice Tabaro. Judge Tabaro also wanted was to be. Fumbira. Now, mm -hmm. I think if I was party to that constitution, I would side with them. Mm -hmm. Because you cannot say you were Munyarwanda and you were Ugandan. The moment you say you were a Munyarwanda, the mind automatically switches to a country called Rwanda. Rwanda. And that's why we, we also <laughs> agreed with that. That now, is, is the current hate speech against Banyarwanda, a big portion of Ugandans think we are refugees. And many, <laughs> well, of, them, and many of them think we came to Uganda after 1986, yeah. after the 1986 war. I'll give you an example. Personally, my grandparents migrated from Rwanda in 1922. They were not refugees. They were economic migrants. They moved from Rwanda to Uganda for, for work. They ended up settling in Masaka. My father was... Please, please let me put footnote to cut you mm. If you read my book, mm. Kanyihamba, whether the blessings and the joy of who you are. Mm. My great grandfathers mm. also migrated from Rwanda. So I am a medicine. But for them, mm. so I'm a <laughs> the reason was they didn't like the kings, <laughs> the, the, the kings of Rwanda. So for them, they, they were not comfortable away. living they, they under were running the, away the from political persecution. Like, because they were not Tutsi. Mm. Therefore, they were also discriminated like the Hutu. No. But for us, we were a bit more... So we have two and your here now. No, I'm yeah. a midst, I mean. So I'm yeah, a midst two, yeah, I'm a midst two, two refugees. Uh -huh. A senior refugee here, another refugee here. Uh -huh. That's how they for call me, it. An economic migrant, for him, is a refugee. <laughs> one, one day, I befriended uh, Mutusi. Let him give me a, a joke. Mm. A very beautiful girl. Mm. I befriended her. Mm. Then, as we had been going together for some time, Mm. And they told her I was a Muchika. Mm. And she said, I thought you were a Mutusi. Mm. <laughs> I don't know where my looks look like. Uh, she actually, stayed with me. Actually, <laughs> if you want to study Bachiga, first study Hutus. Yes, I agree. Yes, mm. yes. If you want to study Bachiga, the first... conduct and everything, uh -huh. they are honest. Now, we well, launched uh, in 2017. We, uh, Mr. Gashumba, we were on 1922, your great grandparents shift from Rwanda, come to Uganda. Let's for, begin from For there. economic reasons. Yeah. They found Uganda. For uh -huh. political reasons. Aha. They found Uganda a, a comfortable place where they can live. My father was born in Masaka. I was born in Masaka. Mm. I don't have links or connections with a country called Rwanda. Or even a close relative mm. as of now. 
You get it? I get so, it. So we are saying this confusion cannot continue forever. If we change it from Banyarwanda, by the way, God is good that I'm here. There's something you said in your preamble that the Bafumbira has had the right to decide what, to, what they want to be called. The Bahutu. Yes. Uh, the Hutu. Okay. Then they, 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 turned, preferred, they preferred being named as Bafumbira. Uh, they could Do you know why they, why they are named? They call mm. themselves Bafumbira? Mm. Because they settled near Mofumbira Mountains. Mm. For us, we are saying time has come to be called Abavandimwe. Those who still wish to be called Banyarwanda, it's your right to be called Banyarwanda. How many tribes shall we have that are... Even if there are a thousand. <laughs> by the way, even if there are a thousand tribes. Tribes in Uganda or in any other country, they are like swamps, rivers. They all end up powering in Lake Victoria. So even if we are a thousand tribes in Uganda, we all know there is a country called Uganda. So you want to own a special name that does not appear anywhere as Bavandimwe, which has nothing to do with any other country. No, we want to have a name that does not link us to a country called country. Rwanda. Rwanda. Much as we know our grandparents migrated from a country Rwanda. Why? We want to live a better Uganda for our children. Mm. For example, if we are Munyankoli, she's a, she's a uh, let's say Langi, she's, she's a Musoga. If my grandchildren go to the same school with your grandchildren, they will grow up knowing that their friend is a Muvandimwe. Not a Munyarwanda. Not a Munyarwanda. <laughs> they won't even bother to ask much how, how she became to be a Muvandimwe. Because for the many years I've lived in Uganda, I don't recall ever asking my friends Basoga, Basamia, Bagisu, why they are Bagisu or why they are Basamia. <clears throat> Let me give you another example. A, a young boy who boarded a bus from Rwanda today, and he arrived in Kampala. He's a Munyarwanda. He's a Munyarwanda. <laughs> yeah. And he's carrying a passport of Rwanda and a national ID of Rwanda. He's and Frank Gashumba, born in Masaka, carrying a Ugandan passport and our national ID is also what? A Munyarwanda. <laughs> it's very confusing. I've not met a Ugandan who is called a Muna Kenya or a Mo Tanzania or a Mo Congo. <laughs> it's on us. So let, let me explain this. <laughs> the study, we, we, we hired a private firm to do these studies. 84% of Banyarwanda born in Uganda below the age of 50 are supportive of the idea to, to call ourselves our mm. The challenge we are getting is from the senior citizens. What do you mean senior citizens? Who Sen are those? People who are above 60 years. They are the ones we are saying we must die as Banyarwanda. We are saying fine, but we must find solutions. Mm. If we continue to be called Banyarwanda, even if it's a thousand years from today, Ugandans will always look at us like as foreigners in this country called Uganda. You get it? I even give, <coughs> let me give you another, another, another example. Our relatives who migrated from Rwanda and settled in Tanzania are not called Banyarwanda. They are called Abahangaza. <coughs> they are in Tanzania comfortably living well. They even have a local radio speaking in Rwanda, but, but locals know them, uh, they are called Abahangaza. Our relatives who migrated from Rwanda and they went to Congo, they are called Abanyamulengi. Yeah, that one, yeah. You get it? They are not called Abanyarwanda. Why here? Why Abanyarwanda? Uh -huh. So, Banyamulengi somehow puts them in a country called Congo. Congo. They are called Banyamulengi because they settled near Mulengi mountains. Okay. You get my point? Mm. So, we are saying time has come that we must live a better Uganda for our grandchildren by rebranding. If we do it today, Gashuba won't be a beneficiary. It I have a question for here. I'm, I'm coming, I'm coming. You want to be a king for... Yeah. No, 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 I'm coming, I'm coming. Countries have changed the names. Tanzania was Tanganyika. Mm. Young boys were young girls below the age of 25. Don't even know there was a company mm. called, Air, called Celtel in Uganda. They know it's Airtel. Or even... Uh, uh, Zaire. Uh -huh. Or even Zaire. I'm coming, I'm coming. Hits Telecom. His telecom, yes. from its telecom exchange to orange, from orange to half mm. You get it? The Congo, if you just talked about, it was Zaire. Zaire. But so, uh, you have many issues. <clears throat> I think you have made your point. Yes. You are contradicting yourself. Mm. How is he contradicting himself? He said he likes what we put in the constitution that the Bahutu should be called Bafumbira. <laughs> he did not mention a word about that. No, uh, so, so excuse me, listen. Mm -hmm. If we have is this Bandim, Bandim, yeah, Bandim, Bandim, in Ruchiga, mm. when you transit, it means 
abazirwe hamwe so baganda bari kampaba bari kabale nabo bakazagwa hamwe nindi abatoro abazirwe toro nabo ari mu Uganda nabo ni nindi yes so that would be very confusing no no they are no please uh, professor also give an opportunity you, you, to explain do, how do you understand the do you understand Lito. Yeah, that's some. If you call them that, then Batoro, who also are in Nyawanda, but what? Born together. Bavandimwe. Bavandimwe. It's called the brethren. Who would also be Bandeme with Brother Batoro living in other areas. Let me ask you, Prof. So, Do you now my be, question be, is very simple. Mm. When I explained why we call them Bahutu, mm. and, and they are the majority, mm. in the Uganda, the majority who used to be Banyarwanda mm. are now Bafumbira. They consider the I want you to understand them. So, if you give another name, Banyarwanda, who are neither Banyarwanda or Batusi, you are creating a name which does not exist in Uganda. But that's what they want to uh, to, to find. Fumbira uh, existed. Mm. Mm. That's what we call them. Fumbira, yes. But uh, the word Bandemi has never existed. You are Until creating the, a new people. Uh, 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 Mr. No, Frank, let me explain second. this. Uh, uh, Prof, mm. did you ever think at a time that the, uh, by uh, making a tribe, okay, uh, called Banyarwanda in Uganda would, <coughs> after some years, cause trouble? No, we didn't create it. I mean, we in our constitution, you did. We found that there were Banyarwanda okay, making them a who lived in Uganda, mm -hmm. near Mount Abumbula. There were also Banyarwanda who lived this way in Uganda. Like him and so others, you know. So, those who didn't want to be called Banyarwanda Considered made to be called out a very convincing case by the simple word that when you apply for a passport, mm -hmm. they say, are you a Banyarwanda from Rwanda or Uganda? Mm -hmm. So, those... Banyarwanda, mm. Banyarwanda convinced us, and we are working for the interest of the, the people, that they become Banyarwanda. Bafumbira. Bafumbira. The word is there, Bafumbira. Baf yeah, it is now, there. Listen, please. <laughs> so if you want in Uganda, you don't want to be called Banyarwanda. You just... You're in Bafumbira. <laughs> <laughs> Now, let me tell you, no money, no money. Okay, yes. Give me an opportunity yes, also yes, to explain. Yes. <laughs> so you are forcing him, if he doesn't want to become a Munyarwanda, I should call himself a Mufumbira. Yes. Is that your ah, ah, yes. let me, let me. <laughs> second, second. <laughs> There is no tribe in Uganda. How long is this show? Me, it's two hours. There is no such thing. Okay, let me tell you. Okay, let's let's see. Why are you there? There is no such thing. Yeah, that's because, why they want. Because uh, I'm telling you, they want us to create let's another tribe. Yeah, that's by the way. That's I, I, uh, that's the bottom line. Right. He wants to propose for constitutional amendment so that we can Wait. have Bafandimwe. But we don't have that in Uganda. Let me, okay, uh, let's see. Because I'm seated with this. We have people called Indians in Uganda, so they will demand. Create another tribe called by Indi. Okay. We, we have Sudanese in yeah, our let's have let's yes. 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 No, that will be because of so confusion. Yes, because I'm, I'm sitting. It strongly. You would because you you've would not listened to me. Yeah, let's give him an opportunity. Because you are a Mnyan. No, no. Uh, 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 I'm from Mira. <laughs> you, you are. You are to be from Mira. Mfundira. No, <laughs> no. You are. Okay, now, of him, eh? Professor, because what? I was seated with a senior citizen, <laughs> a scholar, that's why I have to listen a lot to you. Mm. I am also listening to you. Okay. Uh -huh. You said Mvandim why, why means, you means being called a Mnyarwanda. I've told you I'm a Mnyarwanda 100%. Every day I receive between 5 to 10 phone calls of my people who are being denied passports and national IDs. The reason they are given, they are not Ugandans because their tribe is a Munyarwanda. But I said, oh, that I have told you, you are a Mufumbi, <laughs> not a Munyarwanda. <laughs> no. Now, the, by the way, by the way, way prof professor, 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 <laughs> when I go, let me tell you, if I went to the immigration, yes. told them I'm a Mufumbi, yes. yes. they would tell me, give us areas near Mufumbi mountains. No, 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 this no. is it. Uh, let see, me, let me give you some information. Uh, what we cleared, 
Once you say I'm a Mufumbira, you are Ugandan. But why would one why would one lie? Why would one lie? Because for him he's not comfortable being a Mufumbira. He's not a Mufumbira. I would even lie in a ceremony. It's like for me saying I am Mufumbira when I'm not. If he says he's not happy, are you comfortable being a Mufumbira? No, no man. Because the mere fact, the mere fact, the mere fact that the professor wants us to call our cerebrus mm -hmm. it's enough to say that Banyarwanda that don't qualify for, to no. be citizens of Uganda. Let, let it me, is let me, not me. Professor, you see, professor. I said that was the demand of the of ah, But we change that. So He's me. a professor. Say, right, of the Banyarwanda who are now called Bafumbira Bafumbira and Tuzu, and they don't work. Okay, professor. Not me. Uh, professor. Uh -huh. Let me tell you Not this. Not me, the Vanyarwanda. Bafumbira called Bafumbira because yes. they settled near Mufumbira Mountains. Yes. Mm. Their grandparents... But that's, that's what they demanded. Of Don't their... the Vanyarwanda demanded the well, You said, Professor, the yes. minister, uh, the there judge... Is interview, the interview, interview, there is who was interview, in... Interview, who was interview, the interview, judge? Yeah, just he was a judge. Yes. And the film on Mateki. And uh, mm. Mateki. You hear me? Mateki yes. was a very powerful. And preferred being a Fumbira. He, he, they are, he, their he grandparents gave... migrated from Rwanda. And I finish the point. Mm -hmm. Because that was the audience will not listen. No, yes. no, no. I'm when I am my in the point. middle of a point, let me finish. Finish it and we have I am allowing you. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the most powerful representative of Banyarwanda who were Bahutu was Mateke. He is still alive. He joined uh, the Tavgova. Mateke. Yeah, Mateke. Tavgova. Fib, Fib. Tavgova. 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 And the other... Their grandparents... Migrated to... If their grandparents from... If their grandparents migrated from Rwanda... Yes. From Bida. That means they came either as Hutus or Tusis. Right or both? They came as Hutus. Those I am mentioning who mentioned were about Hutus. Excellent. And that's what... Now they have successfully changed from Hutu... To so they have denied their that's origin. Right. Thank you. <laughs> Which you don't want to do. No, <laughs> that's what we want to do. Mm -hmm. The way, the way, the, the way, the way Mateke and the group successfully changed yeah, from, yeah. from Bahutu to Bafumbira. To Bafumbira. They also want to successfully from, shift change from, from Banyawanda Tusis, from Batusi to Bavandimwe. You get it? Is that possible? No, but the way, no, no, let me tell you, you by the way, <laughs> Professor, <laughs> Professor, okay, let's, let's, no money, no money, no money. Right. Let, let me explain this. Let me explain this. <laughs> this is very <this> from me. <laughs> Mosei Filimoni Mateke and the group mm. during the CA, the 1994, they, they successfully yeah. convinced dropped, their colleagues, mm. dropped the Rwanda Hutu uh, things to, yeah. to, to Bafumbira. And they are giving the same reasons. I'm coming, I'm coming. Because we are in Rwanda in Uganda now, we are scattered all over. Go to Masaka. You are like go, Jews. Li, listen. Go to Masaka. Go to Busoga. Go to Rira. Any part of Uganda, they are in Rwanda. There is no way we can come up. Excuse there is no way we can come up with a specific name. For example, Baganda found in Uganda. Yeah. Basoga in Busoga. Banyankore in Ankore. Batori in Toro. Because we are scattered everywhere, we said, what can we do? We had a meeting that lasted for, for six hours. And one of our colleagues said, you know what? As long as there's a country called Rwanda, Ugandans always look at us like foreigners. Said, what do we do? We must rebrand. Said, what? We must rebrand. Which name or which word do you use to a Rwanda and we turn back? It's like if I found a Muslim, a Muslim walking on the streets of Kampala without this interabus, and I said, Muslim, will he turn back? Said, yes. If I met a young girl on the of Kampala walking, and I, I, I know very well that she prays from Pastor Kaya and your pastor's uh, Bujingo, so and I say locally, yeah. with she turned yes, then we said, which word can you use to a Munyarwanda? Yeah, unifying one. Yes. Yeah. We said, umuvandimwe. Then that night, I posted it on my wall. The following morning, I had 300,000 likes and comments. Do you know what they were saying? Karame. Meaning, Wanji, hello, they were responding to me. Mm -hmm. Meaning, the, the word can, that can unite us as Banyarwanda in Uganda was Abavandimwe, Omuvandimwe. Mm -hmm. Then we started it. After starting it, we, we gave a third explanation to Ugandans because everyone was asking us, Gashumba, Banyarwanda, Baganda in Buganda, Basoga in Busoga, mm -hmm. Banyoro in Bunyoro. You guys, where are you? Because we are everywhere. That's why we came up with Abavandimwe. 
The way Bufumbira came up with Bufumbira because they are near Bufumbira mountains. Chances are 99%. If a Mufumbira went to the passport office, if, if a young girl from, from Bufumbira went to immigration with a national ID mm. to chase for a passport, it would take him 14 days or her to secure a passport. Mm. But if a Munyarwanda born, born in Masaka or in Nakasongola with a national ID, some of qualifications, Chances are ninety nine percent that they will deny that boy a passport. Let me ask you something. So wait, are you no no let me you know why? Because you, he's a Munyarwanda. I, I will tell you. <laughs> let's hear from you. Let yeah. me tell you, my friend. <laughs> when you are going to argue, mm. argue with the fact. Mm. That's why I was a judge. Mm. That's why I was a minister of justice. Yes. That's why I was presidential advisor. Mm. I have given you. That in Uganda, mm. we have two tribes mm. which were originally all Banyarwanda. Mm. And they are still Banyarwanda, but one of them are called, and it is on their own in decision. Their, their own Request decision. Mm. Hundred percent, I have even mentioned the people who did that, the late Justin Taboba. Mm. Um, as you have told you, who's just retired recently, and the most important, one of the men respected very well mm. in the Bufumbira Matek. Matek. Ceremony. Those are facts. Yes. Then anybody who wants, they, are, they have a free. They can call themselves <coughs> in Rwanda. But if you go to the immigration office, mm -hmm. which is you are continuing to hold the bar, and you say I'm Mfumbira. The whole Uganda knows you are a Mfumbira originally in Rwanda. But they have so no... So they read that you down without anything, wherever you live in Uganda. But why do they question the... Banyarwanda. We are but all they, in the constitution. No, come on, you are listening, not listening to me either. <laughs> he will be called a Mfumbira. A Mfumbira was a Mnyarwanda mm -hmm. who refused to be... Called him yeah, in the one. So the word is no longer there. You are saying I'm in Bumbira. Wait a second. The word in your as the moment, moment if we accept to be a, 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 a what do you call it? If we accept we are to be 24. a Mufumbira. It is here. Number twenty four, Abanya Rwanda. But I have told you that Prof. Yeah, I don't I So don't, I, don't, I am not saying Abanya Rwanda not there. We have in Uganda people who are called about Bafumbira and Rwanda. Bafumbira and Rwanda. No, yes. So I'm saying be a member of the Bafumbira, which they don't no. want. They don't want. No, he hasn't said so. Do you want to be Bafumbira? No. Have you heard? No. Then he's a Rwanda. Then, then, then say in Uganda. <laughs> This is the same. I never argue mm. or something should happen. Mm. It will never happen mm. that uh, we can call Baba and which are related to everyday tribe in Uganda. Mm. If I find him in Chica, wherever he is. It means the same. Brother. Yes. So this is a, a futile decision. I can tell you without any evidence because of my knowledge that we've never accepted it. Okay. Uh, let me ask you a, a straight question to him, to, to mm. Justice Kenyamba, with your team. Mm. Do you, with this, for lack of another word, with this madness that we have uh, in regards to how Rwanda are discriminated here and there? Because literally, like you rightly said, when someone goes to the immigration or to register for a national ID and you write they say, I am a Mfumbira, no one has issues with you. But the moment I see you look like him and you say, Gashumba, what's your tribe? I am a Mnyarwanda. No. They question them. Yeah. You? Th then you should say, I am a Mfumbira. Why should he drop his... Uh, because origin? that is the Mnyarwanda. But you have two. They have a two. The word Mfumbira <laughs> refers to the name. No, listen, <laughs> listen. Never. The name... First of all, even if I decide to Excuse me, let me tell you, because I'm always predicting you know me. <laughs> that tribe will never be written in the country. Let me tell you what. We advertised mm. 
Anybody who thinks you have forgotten their the tribe, tribe. Mm. should apply and we include them. Mm. Why didn't we apply? Is that the question? Why didn't we apply? Why do we amend the constitution every day after five years or ten? We amend it. Mm -hmm. Had you applied, we would have called you what do you want? <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's why, that's why, that's why, that's why, that's why right. we make constitutions. By then, by then, you, by you, then you, you he, was, he yeah. was young to advocate. Now he has matured and collected ideas from his Can we ask his now father, he wants, he can can we ask his father whether he also hates Applied. being called Mufumbira? Let me tell you, my, my, father, <laughs> my father died and he has never loved to be called a Mufumbira. Mufumbira or Mufumbira? Give us evidence. You get it. You, you know what I said? <laughs> I have evidence. You are my friend. I, I have evidence, Professor. Uh, do you know, <laughs> professor. Do you know, do you know what you are exaggerating? Professor. No, no, let me give you the evidence you are exaggerating. Because you people, you say there is a, there is No, a, no, I am the one talking about it There is second. something you are not bringing out very well. Mm -hmm. What is that? <laughs> what is it? The, the, our senior citizen here. Excuse me, I'm Professor Kanyaba. Okay. <laughs> Prof yes. ah, because senior citizen means Everyone. He's, he's seen him, he doesn't know anything else. Ah, ah, no, 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 I have told uh, the people. Okay. Professor Kanyaba. Listen, <laughs> I have told all my viewers <laughs> that I'm Professor Kanyaba. Okay, okay Professor Kanyaba. Okay. Professor George. Don't Wilson call me Kanyama. senior citizen. Oh. Professor Kanyaba. Before we retired, uh, she's a visitor himself. <laughs> In order to minimize what he is saying, is Justice he retired? Let us hear from okay. him. Professor Kanyehamba. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Excuse me. You don't call me wrong names as you say. Let's listen to That me. has been cleared. No. Justice Kanyehamba, that has been Never cleared. Never call me senior citizen. Or oh, retire the judge. Tell me how you want me to address him. He's Justice Kanyehamba. Professor Kanyehamba, Dr. Kanyehamba. Mr. Kanyehamba. Okay. Doc, Professor Kanyehamba. Oh, Mr. Kanyehamba. Okay. I have no problem. Okay. <laughs> you participated in the CA. Yes. You are, you are, you are among the few who participated in the, in the CA who had the legal background. Yes. Why is it mm -hmm. easy mm -hmm. for Mufumbira, who is in the constitution of Uganda, to acquire a national ID and a passport? And it becomes extremely difficult uh -uh. for Mufumbira. Give me who is one Mufumbira who said I am a Mufumbira and they ask me you are a Mufumbira. Give me one. I challenge you. You see, uh, the reason they said is that when we say we are in Rwanda, they say, are you from Rwanda? So we want to be called by Fumbira, although we are in Rwanda. And, uh, professor. So, and there is no Mufumbira, as far as I know, who has complained. Yeah, but they, because they're they not no, discriminated. The state has refused to give them uh, service. Yes. Because they have a Fumbira. That is, that is true. He says, but Fumbira are not denied any access to ID and the rest. Yeah. What, issue, what the issue is raising, Banyarwanda, of his looks, as well as the constitution. In the constitution. Uh, in the the constitution. You have already said he was young. Mm. So mm. he couldn't. Yeah, give that's why some of the idea. letters that you've been complaining. He didn't want to. Some of you wanted proof, you wanted evidence. Let me tell and you. He's giving us yes. evidence. You wanted, you wanted evidence. Do you know that the majority <laughs> in Uganda? The majority are saying Museveni is governing well in the name. But they don't accept that. Simply because they are majority. But Museveni is governing us because he has a majority. So, hey, what is the paper? You have no glasses. I, you want, have no glasses. I wanted to return it to you. you have this one is I am returning it to him mm. because they are irrelevant. For, 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 okay, let ha, let, let's, give have, them. let's have this discussion, Justice Kanyamba. Yes. Do you, at some point, mm. alone, Minister, hmm? wait a second, realize that you created the confusion? By no, there is no confusion whatsoever. Why? The people who said that we want to remain in Uganda, in Uganda mm. I have even given the name. Mm. They said we want to remain in Uganda. And they will, they, 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 we want to remain in uh, Rwanda. Mulenga. Mm. Kabasi is still here, call him. You can get his name. I think I should have even Kabasi on your seat. Yes. This is what so let me tell you. They, did, they begged that they want to remain in Banyarwanda. Call the Banyarwanda. Mm. And they are citizens of Uganda. They were entitled to hear. So that's number one. Those who don't want to be called the Banyarwanda, we provide them for them also. We call Bafumbi. Mm -hmm. 
So anybody in Uganda who is a, a living person should and who has be, got logic should either be mfumbira or mnyarwanda. Should say no. I am happy being a mnyarwanda. No, but this is the question. Professor, mm -hmm. professor what, in have I finished? Us, anyone who might want to be mnyarwanda should be called a mfumbira. Why do you him continue but, but you also, but you also interfere. You also interfere him. And mm -hmm. for that case, let me, let me put both of so, you on hold. Mm -hmm. Now listen, and also listen. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is the question. Now we are keeping this. He has no issues with the Fumbira because they are not denied any access anywhere. The issue he has, what has, he has been producing here for you to prove, is that by their looks, so as long as one says, I am a Munyarwanda, they have issues in immigration, in particular passport office, and Nira. I, Nira. And I asked you the same question. Even when it is true that the people who belonged to the Tutsi then preferred being called Banyarwanda, times have changed. Because then, the elites like you did not have issues with them. Apparently, young people discriminated them, thinking they are refugees. And that's why I asked you, don't you think you erred by making these two contradictory, uh, contradicting tribes appear in the constitution, and of late, they are being discriminated? I want you to remind him that when you were talking whether he agreed with you i kept quiet this is you so the audience understand and this are so the comments. warn him not to the interfere i'm with warning me you again. and i'm warning you because you have also been interfering these are the comments here that professor is backing at yashumba <laughs> <laughs> so i am warning both of you once it is his time let him talk once is once it is his time let him also speak i think you proceed you, you, are you a mchiga i uh, no. i am the european <laughs> came here when did the when did the, the the Europeans first came here, mm. they met the Bachiga. And the Bachiga were at, the, the, the Bazungu were calling their dogs to give them bones and said, Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> then the, the Bachiga didn't know the English. Yeah. And uh, they said if you said come to Muchiga, they, they fought you. That we are calling you the Mudok. Oh, okay. Now, how do you do the conversation I'm having here, however loud I am? Call what you have called it. Where did you get that? No, that, that, that. I am I'm now talking quietly. Okay, fine. Yeah, now but yes, if yes, you talk louder, I also talk louder. <laughs> so I'm not, just responding to my person Respond to you. who was shouting. <laughs> Respond to you. <laughs> so, uh, okay, the question was. So let me respond. Okay. And I want the audience really yeah. to listen to me. When we were making the constitution, mm. we had the problem. We have people here who share tribe. Our Samia. Mm. Samia of Kenya and Samia Ugandan. Are Ugandan. The one time we had a vice president, I would be yeah, in a who's the brother? Was, who's the brother, brother? Brother was vice president of Kenya, and one was a minister here. The other one it, was vice president. Yeah, here. <laughs> and we never saw any trouble. So why? <laughs> so let me answer. Why don't you listen to me? That in Uganda today we have two tribes. Rather, yeah, two tribes. Who begged? That's why we should call them that. The Vatosi of Fumbira said, please, we want to remain in Banyarwanda. Are you listening to me? Yeah, sure. So that this matter ends here. Then we had Banyarwanda who were Tutsis, rather Bahutu. Mm. He said, please, for us, we are Banyarwanda in Uganda. So we want to be called Bahutu. And the reason I gave you, you continue bringing it up. The reason was that we, Bahutu, when we go to the immigration department, we want for a, doc a document to travel. They ask us, are you in Rwanda from Rwanda? And it is embarrassing to us. So, listen, so that's why they said, we want to be called Bafumbira. We are in Rwanda. Are you listening? Then the Batusi was saying, We want to remain Batusi because our origin is Rwanda. We can't touch ourselves 
from history. So we have 500 people, but two subs you were. Who wanted to remain? Bafumbira. We asked the whole country. There's nothing we can do about it. Otherwise, we would be working against the, the people of Uganda who are called the Batusi. Then we called what the Banyarwanda wanted, who were Bahutu. In the Bufumbi, they are also Ugandans. And they say we want to be called Bufumbi, although we are Banyarwanda. For the same reason that my friend here is advancing. Then we advertise. If there are any other tribes we haven't called, please write in and we include you. About six of those in the constitution is people responded to us. The Sumba's father never applied. <laughs> His relatives, who were very adult, were happy to be called Bafumbira. You think the government is playing games now to accept another tribe called, what is it? Bavandimu. Bavandimu. Actually, there are like six coming up. Yes, yeah, six. More new tribes. Yeah. Mm. Which, which think they had been swallowed into yes. other tribes. Let's now hear from him. No, listen. The, 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 the um, Indians, mm. Ruti. Yeah, they also want to, to be. be yeah, to be called in our area, in our time. We said, no, we are not going to allow. These people still have got connections. They have real connections with the India. And we called evidence, we called research. So we didn't do anything just like that. Did we did research. That so for me, but this one's having no in order to end this, mm. they want to end now. Because if they said they want to create another tribe, mm. the government will not accept and they will agree with the government. That they remain... Uh, they remain in Bafumbira or Banyarwanda. They, they have a choice. So that means... Excuse me. They have a choice. They are Banyarwanda. They have a choice to be called Banyarwanda, which is Batusi once, and we would have to... We can't disappoint Batusi by doing that. Secondly, the other group of Ugandans, not foreigners want to be called Bafumbira. I have a precise question for you. They can be finished. Mm -hmm. And they remain Bafumbira. Let me ask and you something. Unless they ask other ones. Would you feel comfortable being called the Musoga when you're not? You are just a Skanyamba from Kamara. Are you rich? Why would I be called the Musoga? Very good. When so wrote, why would he call them Nyanguanda when there is a trouble he can bring to cause the He's not comfortable no, with no, it. He's not, not, listen, he's not comfortable with it. Not everything that you want goes in the constitution. <laughs> I wanted to carry my toilet on, the, on, on my Ifumbiru. That must be put in the constitution. I wanted to have my cows uh, branded Kanyama. <laughs> that must be in the constitution. No! This is it. We should be utility. You should believe in what is the utility. This is Let me tell you. We have to cross I, I may have gone. Mm. That tribe, of we are together, mm. because that's what it means. Until together with the other one, you know? But they don't. No, no, I'm asking we are, a question. We are not discriminated. I no, am no, a proud I said, When I moved to immigration, no one questions my, I mean, my identity. No, no. Which, because me, I, have, I have already told you. If the Banyarwanda who are still in Uganda or coming to Uganda, who don't want to be called Banyarwanda? Go and say, I am in Fumbia. Listen, nobody will challenge them. You see, the Sumba wants to say, I don't want to be called a tribe of Uganda. I want to remain in Banyarwanda. But they discriminate. I have told you that it is no longer possible for discriminate to go if you call yourself the other Banyarwanda tribe, which is Bafumbira. Let me cross to him. Mm, uh, Mr. Gashumba, you have heard, and uh, so what, how, how do you move forward? Now, Prof uh, Professor Kanyehamba, for the many years I've read, heard about him, he's a Democrat. He believes in ideas. Yes. But he has said no. That they have said happen. no. <laughs> because that is uh -huh. illogical. 
I've given you a clear explanation and the viewers why we think as long as there is a country called Rwanda, Banyarwanda and Uganda will be looked at as nations of, nations of Rwanda living in Uganda. And in his submissions, he said it, that they refused to have Indians in the constitution of Uganda because they still had links with the country called India. India. Now, the same professor says, or oh, the framers of the constitution included the country, included the tribal code, Banyarwanda. And when you hear Banyarwanda, it automatically switches you to a country called Rwanda. That's why we came up with this idea of Man, having... You let, me you let him finish. You talk, I kept quiet. I said quiet. the alternatives of Fumbira. Uh -huh. You don't have to call yourself Banyarwanda. I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example. I have friends who are Bakonjo. They live in Kasese. They have relatives in across Congo. Congo. <laughs> same culture, same language, same everything. They are called Abanandi. Mm. I've not met a Mukonjo living in Uganda called a Congoli, carrying a passport of Uganda. There is a, in the eastern part of Uganda, the Bagisu are in Uganda. The Bakusu are in Kenya. But the same same culture, culture same everything. Bagisu in Uganda carry passport of the Republic of Uganda. The Bakisu carry passport of Kenya. the Republic of Kenya. of Kenya. You get it? Let me add you more. Uh, Abaruya. Mm. Aba, uh -huh. Abasamia. Yeah, they are Samia, Ugandan Samia and... Uh, and those in Kenya are called Abaruya. In Uganda, they call our passports. In Kenya, they call their passports. You've not had any conflict. I've not had a Mugisu or a Mukonjo that has gone to the passport office and is denied a passport. The only people that are denied passports day by day, Banyarwanda. Banyarwanda. But why? I'm, I'm coming. And the Banyarwanda being denied passports in Uganda have no links, have no connections with the country called Rwanda. The study we did we found out that 96% of Banyarwanda born in Uganda don't even know where Katuna border is. Basically, they have no relationship with the country called Rwanda. Rwanda. So we, we thought that why don't we come up with a proposal of Rwanda. having a new tribe put in our constitution so that in the future 30 years from today, our children will live comfortably with other Ugandans. It was a proposal. Then, their colleagues who are saying, that for us, we want to remain in Banyarwanda. We said, no problem. The constitution allows that. You can remain to be Banyarwanda, and you can be called Abavandim, those who choose it. That's what we are pushing for. But as long as there's a country called Rwanda, and there's a tribe called Banyarwanda in Uganda, you will not convince a Ugandan that a Munyarwanda of Rwanda and a Munyarwanda of different. Uganda are different. The ambassador of Tanzania here in Uganda is a Tanzanian. The ambassador of Kenya is a Kenyan. The ambassador of Rwanda to Uganda is a Munyarwanda. And the Gashumba seated <laughs> here is also a Munyarwanda. So how do you distinguish them? So these were the ideas we are giving out. Our colleagues who are posing this idea, they, they are not coming out with the solutions. They are saying we should go out and sensitize Ugandans. We traveled to Guru, same work, uh, doing research. We met young girls, between young ladies between the age of 19 and 30, doing their own. We gave them 90 tribes listed on the paper. And we told them, here, take tribes that belong to Uganda. They ticked each and every tribe. They canceled Banyarwanda, that these are not Ugandans. You get it? So beyond even, beyond even amendments in the constitution, we need a lot of sensitization so that Ugandans can get to know who we are. OK, we are. No, no. Is it this, okay using one minute and we break and come back? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I will also give you your, your orders that everyone is talking. 
Yeah, the ones who not interfere. Yeah, he's not That's not how we shall progress. Mm. Those are the rules I that didn't say a word when he was talking. <laughs> Remember that. Mm -hmm. That in Uganda we have two tribes. Conflict. One is tribes. called Banyarwanda. On the demand of the Banyarwanda people in Uganda. We have another tribe called Bafumbira, who were very happy to be called by Bafumbira. the Fumbira, which is the name of the mountain where most of them live. What do you to do to understand that? You are with me? Yeah, sure. So by Nyarwanda have two choices. You, you either remain in Rwanda <laughs> as the constitution says, or you become a Mufumbira. Those who have a Fumbira and they don't be, want to be called Banyarwanda, nobody asks them the questions when they go to their passport at all. Nobody says, Where well, are you originally of Rwanda? No. So you are comfortable and happy calling yourself. Mufumbira, because it is part of Uganda. Now, I... <laughs> so let me finish. <coughs> Are we allowed me to finish? Yeah, sure. In a minute, Thank, break. thank you. Why does this man, my friend, Gasumba, when I see become a Mufumbira? Because nobody ever when we are making the constitution, mentioned, I can't even pronounce it. Ab 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 yeah. Me, if, where I miss the Mchiga, I, I, I say the same word. To the man, Dimwe. You are Mnyankole, if you meet another Mnyankole, Mnyankole. So the tribe is trying to create. is not there. Among the original tribes of Uganda or in history, the word and then it means to the abbey shame. Yeah, we are together. That is not a tribe. It we has are, never been. We are breaking. So mm -hmm. we are having a very interesting, but it is all academic. Okay, we are breaking <laughs> for a minute or two and we'll be back mm -hmm. in a minute to answer uh, the remaining questions and some concerns on on our uh, uh, from Only our viewers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah. I, I, I hope I people will would... also be brave and say, I agree with the Kasumba, or I agree Kasumba. with the Kanyamba. Uh, hey, not then you. we take a poll. We see how many support <laughs> the idea of that we all should be one tribe. Okay. Because the Ugandans, we are all together. We are brave. And the tribe is suggesting we are all together. What about us? We are breaking for a minute. We are going to be with uh, Justice Kalihamba <laughs> and Frank Gashumba. Just in a minute. Don't go away. Mm. The Alternative Dig Talk. Real issues. Real talk. Fellow citizens, following the sequence of events, Uganda seems to be at political crossroads. I'm not a servant of anybody. <laughs> Madam, I know the law. As such, Alternative Digital brings you the Interfest show with retired Colonel Dr. Kiza Vesuje. Let's keep on the same page on alternative digital as he gives you the alternatives on the transition question rule of law human rights and freedom youth inclusion in governance economic stagnation as he confirms i'll be always here saturday from 10 a.m in the morning be there don't miss the live discussion on the alternative uganda digital tv facebook pages and the Alternative Uganda YouTube channel. Hi, 
you beautiful Ugandans, it's your girl to detain you. Welcome to the fancy floor. Who doesn't see my hair, guys? I am super glamorous. Remember, this is the only show where we're going to be talking about fashion. Please, where are your things? Ah, teaching. What has been confusing you about fashion? You said I should not smile. For all the information about fashion, maintenance of body shape. I can wear bling bling when I'm going out. So you can wear bling bling going out or any occasion. We shall be doing all this in the fancy floor. Remember, it airs every Thursday right from 8.30 to 9 with your girl Teddy Tango. It is the fancy floor. The Alternative Dig Talk. Real Issues. Real Talk. The Alternative Dig Talk. Real Issues. Real Talk. Uh, viewers, it's been uh, a hot debate, and I believe it continues to be. So as long as we come up with uh, a win-win situation, because we have, uh, he's accused of not having petitioned uh, these people at a time when he was young. Yeah, when he was young, but also asked you why did your parents do so? <laughs> now, <if laughs> which means that so your your father was <laughs> very happy with the now the son has it. now the son has seen the mistakes that you people committed, yeah. and that's why he has come with the Bavandimu. But to ask. Now who is talking now? You know we have to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now I, I am talking. Okay. This <laughs> Viewers, when we are, when, when, when we are off air, you see people. This, when we are this off, is what he is fighting for, <laughs> which is no, never existed in the land of whatever, has made him also uh, a bit uh, not able to listen to logic. Okay. But now you, this, you is ask him. this is a question. I will begin with you. The same question and also cross to him. Mm -hmm. But he was the last to speak. The other time? Yes. But he had one coming at Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. Ah. And why, mean, why we pin you? Even if uh, I there is something very important, <laughs> you demand you, that you are right to speak. You are interfering. Us, even if we are speaking something which nobody understands. Okay. Okay. Are, okay, this is it. Go man. ahead. In Rwanda, <laughs> mm. there are these tribes. Tutsi, Bahutu, the Hutu, and Batwa. Mm. In Uganda, mm. You chose to call, you, you chose to bring the Batwa in our constitution. Mm -hmm. You chose to bring Banyarwanda, mm -hmm. and you chose to bring different to now have uh, from Bira. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you bring the Tutsi, Hutu, and Tua? Actually, than than confusing mm -hmm. people because all this. Do you do you believe that in making constitution, the people's voice should matter? Yeah, for yes. those who are making the constitution, like Kanyamba, Kauhanga, uh, Mamulenga, should be decide and ignore people's views. Is that what you are suggesting? I want to remind you of that. No, no, no. Answer the question. It's a yes and a no. You smuggled, uh, some two, you smuggled two things into the constitution. Why did you smuggle We did it. Who? When we were here, you said you smuggled this fountain of honor. No, we... Yeah, 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 yes, yeah, yes, yes, yeah, yes, yes. Why did you smuggle this? Because it was <laughs> non controversial <laughs> and uh, nobody asked for something different. Because it was non existent. Now it's a controversial one. Well, I never heard that one. It's a controversial one. But uh, the honor of the president to pardon the people was there. Mm. Then the CA decided. In his honor, the president can forgive convicted people. So it was a gap which had we brought it in the open, everybody would have agreed with because they, that's why they are now using for other things. So Kabuma, who was the 
Minister of Constitutional Affairs at the time, <coughs> came to me after we had a close and said, and it is not harmless. And he said, for the president to give honors, you should call him the fountain of honor, I said. I, I am the one who suggested I spoke. Mr. Mago will do it. But those who don't want it, I will be happy if it's they it. abolish it. <laughs> the same thing they want to abolish in Rwanda. Because they're not happy with it. Excuse me. If his argument is mm. you were wrong to put in to allow Banyarwanda in, mm. only the insistence of the Hutu who were wrong citizen. That we go against the people's thing. <laughs> Because what I, told, what I smuggled in was not was non existent. But Sabatusi exists. And they required we want to remain by Rwanda. Oh, if you the uh, Kabasi is still around, he's a lawyer. You, you ask him. Let me question. So Frank. what I'm saying, mm -hmm. if Mr. Gashumba was arguing that why did you it's not a, I want to ask him it was a mistake for Batusi to, to insist on remaining in Rwanda when their colleagues Bahutu who are in the majority anyway. Being yes. But uh, the CA in his wisdom wanted to please both. Hmm. So they said, We are giving you a way out. You, Batusi, who wants to remain in Rwanda, we shall call you in Rwanda. Because that trial existed from before we made the constitution. You people who want to call yourself Bafumbira can uh, remain Bafumbira. Can remain Bafumbira because there is such a name. It existed from a time of We were acting and recognizing tribes which existed even before independence. That was our mission. And you people gave us that mission. Gasuma did it. His brother did it. His father did it. His father did it. Okay, let him hear. No, me. did his girlfriend. Uh, <laughs> but having said that, listen, what are we arguing today or no morning has never existed in history. And is not a tribe. It is a solution of people who are related. By Rwanda, who are in Uganda. Wants to be called to the army. Okay. What is it to the army? Yeah. We are together. Yeah, to but as you can see, they are not together. So it would be a lie and a mistake by parliament to en enact a law where there is no consensus. Okay, uh, Mr. Gashumba, how many are you in the first place? <laughs> that propose, you should have brought yes, us the numbers. How many are you that propose this amendment, for example? The, the, the last numbers I had were like 750. Those that we have contacted. Who think you should amend? Yes. And because those that are, we've interacted, those that we have their telephone numbers and the rest. That's very good. Mm. Next round, also invite him. Mm. They will have collected all those names. With their telephone numbers? Yes. Their okay. addresses? Yes. Then <laughs> I will pay the facilitation. Mm. For all the 700,000 We, we go to those. Mm. Yes. That's good. Those in telephone, we don't have to go there. We only call them. Are you By sampling. Mm. I, do you support this non existing tribe? If they say yes. Before if they say yes. Called one. If they say yes. Mm. 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 If they when say yes. When you ask questions, <laughs> it's because you are going to make a decision. <laughs> then we shall make a decision. When they have answered. Yes. Okay, do you accept? Well, tell me, <laughs> what should we do when they say no? You don't support it. Then you don't support it. But then if they say yes, you support then, it. Then you already know the answer. But no. we are making you answer the question, Justice Kanyam. When they say yes, they want to amend the constitution. Would you but I don't them? know whether they say so. Because if I knew they are going to say so, I would now make a decision. Before they call it before calling yes, them. The rest of Uganda don't accept that. They don't want you to create a tribe who, who, which never existed in history like the Indians. Okay, exist. we are crossing Didn't to Gashumba. Exist. Gashumba, do you, find, do you find issues with uh, their decision to make you people have Panyarwanda as a standalone tribe when they're making their position? I think and perhaps had they, had they made it, had they left it as a Bafumbira, you would be comfortable with it at the time? I think 
the framers of the 1994 constitution, trust me, it was a mistake for them to include a tribe called Banyarwanda. They would, first of all, our grandparents migrated from Rwanda many years ago. They never migrated as Banyarwanda. They came as Tutsis and Hutus. There is no tribe in Rwanda called can Banyarwanda. I, can I correct you, yes. please? Mm -hmm. We were unanimously asked to put there by, by Batusi. So why does he defend himself? He said what? Say Batusi. Batusi made a mistake. Mm. Yeah, he's saying, mm. this is the point that Justice Kanyamba is making. The likes of Kabati and mm. others who, uh, they are who, who were Tusi by mm. looks mm. and conduct and origin mm. felt comfortable mm. not losing their identity mm. and considered being called Banyarwanda. That's mm. right. Justice Kanyamba adds, the likes of Untabowa and, and others, mm. who by looks and conduct and, mm. and roots mm. uh, were Hutu, preferred losing their Hutuism mm. and become Bafumbira. That's right. So he adds, mm. you would rather blame your colleagues who, who were who Tusi, insisted who that they should when, not when, be, they're, yeah. when they are Ugandans. Let me, let me tell not you. us. They, not this For us, we are acting on the orders well, of problem. the people of Uganda. Professor, <laughs> Professor. So I you can't say we made Professor. a mistake, you are wrong. Okay. Professor, I agree with you. Thank you. <laughs> and good enough being a professor of law, you know how amendments can be made. Yes. And I believe you're Christian. I am. The Bible has been amended countless times. The Bible? Yes, more than six <laughs> times. The Bible, yeah. This is the Old and the New, mm, Testament. New Testament. So it has been amended in 3,000 years. Uh-huh. So that's we are talking about a few years. Okay. <laughs> but the constitution of Uganda has you been amended still alive? I don't know, countless I times. I was born when Uganda became independent. I am still alive when it is now going to be 60 years. Then, therefore, so I the, have said the word. Yeah, the, the, the point is, if we can have amendments in the Bible, if we can have amendments in the constitution of Uganda for the betterness of a country called Uganda, there's nothing wrong with having us rebranding. Li, and and there, is, there is now another, another clause we are bringing in. Those who are happy, who are who celebrate this name to be called Banyarwanda, let them stay in the constitution of Uganda, but add in another one. I told you the figures we have, like 750. There are tribes in Uganda that, that, that do not even total to 200,000, but they are included in the constitution of Uganda. The Iki. Yes. I can I'm, I'm coming up to the Actually, him. actually, actually the, new, the new tribes, they, they want to bring in the constitution of Uganda. Some are 3,000, others are 4,000. Yeah, Iki, I think. But for them, they are saying, we have the right <coughs> to be called such a name. This is what we are proposing. And for the fairness, which Ugandans should listen to us. When you listen to us, our elders, someone <coughs> I respect him, uh, uh, Gasatura is against you. Gadi Gasatura says you have uh, you have personal motives. No. So what, that, okay, that Captain, Gale, Captain Gasatura, I know him. I respect him. We don't have any other motives. Actually, we are saying, if we are saying rebranding to, to Abavandimo is it wrong, what solutions are you bringing up? Nothing. Nothing. Just uh, say uh, Kabasi. I know him. I know him. Simbabwe. Someone Simbabwe I respect. Simbabwe. Very decent. But that doesn't mean that what he says is a verse from the Bible. 1994... They might, they might have thought that it's the right thing to do, but, but things are changing day by day. There is no, the hate you see on, on social media everywhere, it's against one tribe in Uganda. Because they have su successfully convinced Ugandans that Banyarwanda are not Ugandans. When this hate goes on for the next 50 years, it will be terrible for this country. So we are saying, we Banyarwanda, born and raised in Uganda, it's time to sit down and come up with possible solutions, long-term solutions, not short-term. Mr. Gashumba, why, why has this hate come now? Is it because of your conduct as okay, part of your uh, people who hail from your side? No, actually, the, the hate you see, people think, that, people think that it's Banyarwanda running this country. Is that true or not? 
Let me tell you, of course, the Abanyarwandan government, the way the Abanyankula and Ibachiga and Ibachori and others. Okay, for me, it's easy. It's here. 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 It's the same so people who are saying that it's us benefiting, but it's us being denied services. Because when I'm denied a national ID, I can't have a national ID. But if, if a young boy from uh, Nakasongola, from Ruengo, from Asaka is denied a national ID, without a national ID, you cannot open up an account in the bank. Mm. You cannot have a SIM card. Can't you cannot even buy a country as fighting in your name. If That's you call like, yourself a Mnyarwanda, why don't you call yourself a Mnyarwanda? Come on! <laughs> professor, a moment. Professor, a Mnyarwanda born in Masaka, you cannot go to Nila and tell them I'm a Mnyarwanda. They will ask you, you are a Mnyarwanda. No, they will not ask you. But they will ask you. Let's go today. Let's go, go to the offices. Uh, professor, I, I will come with my huge. No, no, please. Uh, I, 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 I am not this. A, sec a second. I respect you. I'm, I'm betting. A second. I'm betting. A second. I'm betting. Let's have. No man, no man. You are the moderator of that show. Mm -hmm. Look for a young Munyarwanda boy or young girl who is, who is seeking to, to acquire a passport. Or even and look for a Mufumira young girl. <coughs> Let them go to immigration. Let them apply for a passport. I will. See, Me. This is it. I am going to not, take I, them there. Not you. Not you. Uh, they prof. know you. Uh, prof and, and, and the professor. Shuba. One as second. Lawyer, as a lawyer. No, no. Before, let, let me finish. I am this. taking them there. The day. moment a person is issued a national ID, mm. that means that person is a citizen of Uganda. And another question that I always ask, why is it that during elections, it was okay. During okay. elections, every Munyarwanda okay. born in Uganda, He's given a voter's sleep to vote. Mm -hmm. But, but when elections ID, are done, getting an ID, they become stateless. Uh, this is the, uh, no man, I'm is, betting. You I'm are right. You no man, I'm betting my hand. You, you are right. Get a Mufumbira girl mm. and get a Mufumbira boy. Sorry, Mufumbira Munyarwanda. Let them go to immigration to acquire a, a passport and you'll see if a Munyarwanda will be issued a passport. This is it, Justice Kanyamba. Uh, let me moderate Excuse here. Me. Yeah, I'm moderating for a second. No, please. Let yeah, me I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, going to clarify for the, the audience, please. Mm -hmm. mm. If you are a Mufumbira, mm -hmm. why do you call yourself a Munyarwanda? But why would you force people well, to call themselves a Mufumbira? Why do you want me to call myself a Mufumbira? Because the Constitution says... But no, 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 the Constitution is here. So, the same Constitution mentioned is a Munyarwanda as a tribe. The same Constitution that you made, they are there. My The other question as well. Let me ask you, Justice Kanyamba. Mm. I have mm. a friend. Mm. She hails from Rwanda. Mm. Okay, she has. Okay, she she belongs to these people. Mm. But, but for me, but, number eight. But, but Rwanda number twenty-four. When 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 she got an ID, mm. going back to pick the ID, they denied that. They denied her to get an ID. Can you tell you? Can I tell you? Uh -huh. Issuing of uh, you see, an ID. You no, because in ignorance of no other facts, mm. I was here. With a relative of mine, I was in the city wheelchair. Mm. I went to go, I think, Mr. Gashomba? My friend, listen to this. Mm. <laughs> when the first uh, issue in the That's ID came, mm. the man in the charge was the Mirwanda from Kawai. Mm. Uh, what is his name? Kurinjira. A friend of mine. A tall guy. Since I, since I got sick, he calls him saying, he has never said even hello on the phone <laughs> or anything. That is how Ugandans behave. Yeah. So he called me. Because you are in a wheelchair, the people at your area. You are asking your brother to remove a spa, a, 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 what do you call it, a, a, a spot from his eye. But, but yours has got a beam, and mm. you are riding about the, the spot back mm. instead of the beam. Let me tell you about those. So we went there at our house. 
you know who the chairman was? A man from Kabale called Nchirile. He was in Chiga, in charge. Of people to identify people who live <coughs> and have lived here, have relatives here. Mm. He and the Quillinger. Quillinger, remember, was also from Kabale. Maybe that's why he became this man chairman of LC. Where in, people, they invited people from Kabale mm. to preside over the issuing of national in Ibuzika. here. Then I said, do you know where these people are born? Mm. Do you know who were their grandparents? He said, we have never been to Uganda. We don't know. Then I said, how can you verify that those who you are going to issue IDs are Ugandans or were born here? Mm. They, they <laughs> laughed. They said, this is not the, the, the purpose of the exercise. We want people who will take IDs will be those who will vote for anything. Mm. Kasumba is a very big man. He's very intellectual. That question has never been asked. Mm. That's how the Banyuganda come in under the ID. You should use my story as him. Why are you asking those people's ID when but, they are not in Uganda? But you see, Gashumba and Justice Kanyamba, this is the point. Both of you, mm. if you moved with any of a uh, any of uh, a, any young Rwandese mm. to immigration, ah, mm. by now, you are, now by you are confusing. Wait, 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 no man, let me even correct you. Now you you are spoiling it. Mm. Younger Rwandese, Rwandese or Rwandans okay, are Rwanda. na nationals of Rwanda. Okay, Rwanda. Eh. Moving with any Munyar Rwanda, both ah. of you in the same vehicle. Yes, I can assure you eh. that person will get a passport. Uh, who? When you are with that person, me. The question here is: I'm sick and tired. Wait By the way, Gashumba. I can go no. with him. Let me finish this. this. Is my point. Let me finish this also. <laughs> I'm sick and tired of taking people to him. That's the meaning. I want systems we should create, to work. Yeah, we should create. I yeah. agree with that's, you. That's, that's, that's my point. The point I'm making here. Themselves if they the point I'm making here is that can we have? Uh, and they have no problem. The point Gashumba I'm making uh, and Justice Kanyamba uh, is having an environment uh, where an independent Munyarwanda uh -huh. moves to immigration without big wings behind them and they get national IDs or the passport. Do you have a that's national ID? Excuse me, I, have I don't agree with you. Let me give you an example. If you call yourself let me tell you, this is the national ID. You get the passport. If I if I have this national ID, walk into an MTN or Airtel outlet, mm. and I need a SIM card. Mm. They will take my details, verify the fingerprint, yeah. and give me a SIM card. Mm. That's the same thing that it should happen at the immigration. I agree the moment with you. Someone goes with a national ID. Let him be issued yeah, with a passport. Way. Let me even tell you further. We met the, the former minister for internal affairs, uh, JJ Odom. You remember the rift between Rwanda and Uganda, tensions mm. were high. Mm. Then we agreed that because they were saying that Rwandans, Rwandans were acquiring our passports in Uganda. Mm. And we said, fine, if there are few Rwandans who try to acquire our, our passports, our people should not pay a price. Yes. This is what we should do. If someone is applying for a passport, let him go to his local LOC, much as he has a national ID. For clearance. The LOC, for clearance. This, the, the same LOC letter should be taken to the DISO. The DISO to certify that no money, blah, 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 he's a Ugandan 100%. And we agreed on that. Now, our people go to the extent of getting a, a letter from, from the LOC, DISO, DISO, and they are denied passports. We even told them, the last question you should ask them, when someone tells you that he's a Munyarwanda born in a massacre, Banyarwanda born in Masaka speak in Uganda better than they Uganda. You Uganda. should Uganda. ask him, are you a And we told them, are you another question, Mbira? another question. <laughs> ask, if a Munyarwanda tells you, I'm from, uh, born and raised in Busoga, you know Bahati. Mm, yeah. Pastor Bahati is a yeah. Munyarwanda born in Busoga. He speaks in Busoga the way you speak in A Munyarwanda born in Fort Potro speaks in Toro. So mm -hmm. an additional question would be, take them in their local language. Yeah. Yeah. Now they don't even want to listen. The moment you say, you're, you're Munyarwanda, you don't no. belong here. Go back to Rwanda. And in Rwanda, they have not... Uh, and when you go to... If I went to Rwanda for a visit, they call me uh, uh, Mugandi. And they are right, because I don't belong there. I'm a visitor in Rwanda. How, how far do you see this move? As in, so what... I mean, this confusion that you people... Uh, okay, the Kabasi and other and the Ntawov and others... But why do you created? continue going when I explained? 
What you advise? The Batusi of Uganda who are citizens. Mm. The mind is they want to remain. The people of Kisoro mm. who are in the majority of Ahutu, mm. they are able to the majority they have been here. Two of them were judges here. I have also they mentioned one of them wanted to be Bafumbira. Hundred percent of them. I want you to remember that. We are here for the people, not for people like Kasumba, who wants to create a new tribe which never existed before, called We Are Together. There is no trouble which because we are together. And he knows it. And the purpose why we put those tribes there is that's what the constitution, rather the, the act demanded. You must verify who are the tribes of Uganda. The Bahutu and the Batusi has lived in Uganda from time immemorial for a long, long time. As I have told you, my people originated from Rwanda, but I cannot say I'm in Rwanda. You what? I am in Chiga uh, of so, Uganda. So, uh, and no, that's the, that's the, the reason you have asked me what I am, mm -hmm. that I told you, you so, get angry. So what, Why? No, I'm not, not angry. Why do you want me to tell you that's wrong? Right? No, 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 you are saying he should drop no. drink. He should be a Get out of your Rwanda called because that's what they demanded. <laughs> the majority of the Vanyarwanda. Let me ask say this. The majority of Vanyarwanda said we want to be called either Bahutu, no, rather Vanyarwanda, or Vanyarwanda. So let him go back. And he becomes a and no, no, no. He asked them to change their mind. Because they are in the majority. That's what they are proposing. Excuse me. That's what they are proposing. Do you know what they brought? No sheets and the sheets of papers of their tribes. And who supported them? That's why I can know their names. He has not mentioned one. Let me ask you something. Why do you think they are being uh, uh, discriminated? Because of politics. The politics are, are started for him. Because if you tell you, tell you if you call your, say, Mtus, Mfumbira, whether you are a Mtusi or a Mhutu, they, they will accept you here. Because all the officials in Uganda know whether if you are born in Mfumbira or in Uganda, you automatically register, unless you are in Rwanda. And that, we said we covered that. That's why we created those who want to be Banyarwanda to be Banyarwanda. Briefly. No, please. Uh -huh. Because I'm going to ask you a question. And you should really answer as our moderator. When we ask the people who called themselves the Banyarwanda, the Batus said, the majority of them, we want to remain Banyarwanda mm. and continue with our roots. The Batus, the, the Bahutu said, we don't. We want to be called Bafumbir. That is not a CA. But the CA, we were mandated by you people. You must listen and implement the views of the people. So you yourself, you are supposed to answer. Did no. you want us to disobey the people? Okay, this is the point. So, so but the to... other one, which is a, is already solved. Because if you are in Rwanda, you either say, I am in Rwanda because I relate to Rwanda, or if I don't, or to be asked those questions, I want to be called Mufumbira. This is the point. Yes. Gashumba leads uh, a council for Bavandimwe. He says there are over 750,000 Ugandans. They have found loopholes uh, made by their uh, it is not a rope hole. I am, I am you, 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 I, a moderator should have knowledge. Yes, let us, let us listen to one so another. So there is no such thing. Let us listen to one another. As being let us, overlooked. Prof, let us mm. listen to one another. Mm. Good. His, his 750,000 citizens say 
they do not feel comfortable being called Banyarwanda. What do you want them to do? I want to ask you. This is the one that listen to me. Bring that evidence with the signatures. Do you have that they want us to create a new tribe. Do you have that petition? Because to going together mm. is not a tribe. We, we have already petitioned. And the the very, no, mm. excuse me. Which other proof do you have? When have do you know the people we, we, we ask to give us views? Mm. They are the Kavasis, the Nabobas. One of them is still alive. Kabasi is alive. There is a Tabaru. Mm, just is Tabaru. Who is a Mfumbira? Used to be a Munyarwanda. <laughs> He's happy to <laughs> be called a Mfumbira. <laughs> he has never had any problem. So please. Even Kaihura, your, your, your relative. That one is a Mutusi. But he's a Mfumbira. Now he called, yeah, for him considered the big. Now he calls him <laughs> he to be a Mufumbira, which means he has no problem with the calendar. So what about those who have a problem? So let me in the, finish it there. Mm. You, Mwame Kashumba, Kashumba told me that he respects me. Isn't that what you said, sir? Yes. If you respect me, then give. You should be convincing. The Bafumbira of Ugandans who call them Silver and Rwanda, that you made a mistake to insist you should be remain by Rwanda because of the following problems. Mm. Second, you, you ask people like uh, Tabaro, Judge Tabaro, mm. his son is called Edgar, he's a lawyer also. Mm. Ask him. <coughs> People, you made a mistake to call yourself Bafumbira because we are still discriminated against. As when you are going to you say you are M M M two C. Then when that happens, and I'll give you advice because I am a draftsman, and I am a lawyer. I have been a minister. I have been a judge. I have been a presidential advisor. So I have some knowledge. I will offer you my advice. Free. Thank I will you. not charge you. Thank you. After you have contacted those people, right, and you tell me why, just what? Tabaro, who is father to be called Mfumbira, when they still refer to him as a Mnyarwanda. Okay. And Kabasi, whether he wants not wants to stop, Bimfumbira. and they will remove Banyarwanda from our constitution. Okay. Uh, I want to question Gashumba. So, Gashumba. for me. I am giving practical things to be done to convince all of us, okay. not only those ones. So please bring that evidence. Okay, we shall. And if you don't, this has not to revisit the country. Okay, Gashumba. Oh, on that this, this is the question for you. Save for creating a new name, couldn't all these other concerns be managed without having this new name for your tribe? It's, it's like giving yourself a panadol. It's a temporary medication. But at the end of the day, you must go to the the bottom part. What is the bottom part? part? <laughs> changing the name. Please guide us. Mm. What is the bottom part? The bottom part is changing the name. The way our brothers. So let me tell you. We, I don't you, want because you, 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 you need a job to, to do. No. Why? The, let this ha, but you have asked him. Let him first answer. And, and then you, you have answered it. But you spoke yes. for three minutes. Yes, let him. Quiet. Let him. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> the way so our I hate to say this, enough. and I don't want you to say this. You have to well. I, I don't believe in Hutu, Tus, whatever. Mm. I don't believe it. But uh, the way our brothers, the Bafumbira, how they successfully rebranded from, from Hutus, to... from Rwandans, to Bafumbira. Mm. I've not met a single Mufumbira who is complaining. The only people I meet every day, every day, are Tusis, Banyarwanda, of Uganda. Mm. You get it? Who are, I, who are neither... They are Ugandans. Have you met the M Tusi, rather M Hutu, who have just been called them from here? No. Actually, Professor, no. one of the okay. things I've learned from you today, mm. because when, when, when I meet a professor like you, mm. an informed person, a researcher, a scholar, we learn a lot. Thank you. Actually, I've learned today that people that really pushed 
the Bafumbira narrative where Hutus. Yes. You get it? But I think for them, the for them, for them, they learn and see that they could yes. have this trouble. Now, I've not met a friend in town who is complaining, who, who heard is from Bufumbira, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's why even KK comfortably calls himself a Bufumbira. Actually, even our chairman, you know we have Omubanu. Mm. I, I don't know if you've heard of him, he's called Donat Kananura. Yes. Donat. Mm. He's a Munyarwanda. Yes. But according to records with Mufumbira. the government, he's a Mufumbira. <laughs> Yes. You get it. So it's because the Mufumbira is the constitution. It is uh -huh. in the constitution. So, so you bear the constitution. Learning does not end. <laughs> learning does not end. And you've advised me go and meet like Edgar Tabala. I know him, yes. the lawyer in town. Yes. I will look for him, share a cup of tea with him. Especially his father. Uh -huh. But because his father passed away. His father who gave us evidence. Tabala. Tabala. We want to be just, called. Just Tabala, sit around. Uh, I'm not certain uh, on whether or not he's alive. Let's go through uh, these comments. Mm -hmm. But I, I, wa I wanted to correct my mm -hmm. You have a the minute. person, when we make the constitution, who gathers the views of the person mm. and who actually often came to when we were making the constitution, is not Tabar. Tabar was a younger man. It is but take it. his father. So mm. contact is just father. Is, is the father is still around. Yes. Oh. Just yes. Okay. This, uh, there is Mbazira. Uh, Mbazira. Tabaro. Tabaro. Mm. Uh, Mbazira Nancy says there is there is a whole bigger problem that is being hidden. Mm. There are people who are actually hiding behind this Rwanda uh, thing. Immigration is full of Bafumbira mm. and Bachiga. Mm. They can detect. Nani Rwandis in, uh, in bracket Ugandan and, and uh, Rwandan and someone of Rwandan origin. Now people want both to own. Uh, now some people from Rwanda want to own both. <laughs> What's your name? And they agree with it's that Mbazira, name. Nancy. Mbazira, <laughs> Mbazira. <laughs> Mbazira. Yeah. I think government has systems that can detect that. Mm. That's why the president of Uganda advised it. Mm that let's put in another, another second measure. Mm. If immigration is doubting you, mm. go to your local leaders. Let the LOC write a letter. Mm. That letter must be certified by the GISO and the DISO so that our passports don't end up in wrong arms. I don't agree with that. Did you agree with that advice? I, I wouldn't, but... I can't agree with but, it, so don't mention it. Never uh, agree. But because something you don't agree professor, with. Professor, I said, I said, professor, you. professor, I said earlier uh, that the, the moment, the moment a government of Uganda issues a person called Enoka, bula, 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 mm -hmm. sorry, the moment a government of Uganda issues a national ID to a person called Ingarambe Peter, that means they've done enough due diligence. Mm, the moment that's the, the, that's the presumption. The that the moment, the moment they, you a national ID, you the are presumption a, is they have really cleared you. Excellent. Uh, pro, do, professor. Do, do you remember what I said about the issue? Pro, professor, the ideas. Yeah, yeah, even something I forgot telling you. Mm. There are a number of Ugandans. Did you listen to the contribution it, I mean you, just now? Yes, we did. About yes. issuing of ID here. That they were simply did looking you, for NRM voters. That one we did. Professor, professor. This is the okay. If you had the me, professor, I have said the my same father, thing. My so father, my father, uh, professor, this my is, father. This is the point he's making. That even the issuance of the IDs were always fluent. Yes. So we are simply giving out for people to vote. And they have been. Okay. That's what he meant. Okay. Wonderful. Wonderful. He had the bachiga here. Here, someone was from Mauritania. Someone was a mochiga. Very fine. Excellent. Excellent. Professor, look at the scenario. A person like me, Professor, 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 me to have had passports. The data with the NILA would clearly pick up the information of Franka Gashumba and my sister. Franka Gashumba is issued a passport because he can go to, to passport office and quarrel with them. But my sister, she's denied a passport. That, ah, 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 that name of yours, you are not a Ugandan. The sister that belongs to me. Now the question is, why would you issue a passport to Franka Gashumba? And he deny a passport to my sister. But if you are agreeing with what they have said, mm. you see, if you are really listening to me, you say, I agree with you. That's what you have said. Which, so, what because is... I told you, the people who 
verified my citizenship here. We are not qualified. They were not even, no, they were from Kavale immediately. They were from here. But you are only one to, to, but to I, give you a point. You should have commented on that. I, I think. What you have said, exactly I agree with now, you. Now, uh, let's, let's, <laughs> na, 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 that lady. Mm. Now, let's nice. assume someone, a Rwandan citizen, comes to Uganda and he acquires our passport. And he was, and there are many who are... Yes, yes I, agree. I agree, I agree, I agree. I agree. Yes. Must our people pay a price because well, a foreigner now. secured a passport in Uganda? We must put up systems that can verify, detect non-Ugandans. You cannot deny other Ugandans' passports because a Rwandan or a Nigerian secured a passport in Uganda. Have you read my articles about corruption? Yes. In <laughs> yes. Okay. You we be seeing that. we have, have they made that point clear. Let's use um, even in seven. Just can you have may not be personal corruption. You have all his videos you, are corrupt. You have himself has recently mentioned. The, the police of Uganda the are sorry, they are the most corrupt institution in the world. You have you have two minutes uh, uh, to answer this and you also have two minutes to answer the same question. What is your Final advice to end this forever that there is no to, confusion to, to, to end the world to, to end this confusion of Manyaranda being discriminated and uh, all that they go through. There is only one no answer, and they have provided it in the defeat of President Museveni. So the problem is now we Museveni. must change policy or government. Most importantly, we change government. Museveni himself has said, if he is a people, and where is the people? Ask him to resign, he will resign. Does that mean, are you suggesting that Museveni becomes one of the leading causes of the discrimination? Mm. If you say, the inspector... I agree with the professor. Yes. If you say, Minister Kahindo Tapide, you don't support him in one election because he's not suitable. Then it, he, he, he bribes voters and he's elected. You are appointing him. Minister. Minister of Constitutional Affairs. He's not a lawyer. And justice. He's not just. He stole my money. <laughs> and you, this, and this program, <laughs> we, we went to him. I challenged him publicly. You owe me money. He said I was sick. I'm, I'm dying. I'm telling you life. I'm still here. But you say, Major General Kahindo Tapida is not suitable for this post. Then you say, the police are the most corrupt institution in Uganda. Then the, the following week, you appoint a corrupt man to lead them. who stole money <laughs> from a pensioner, you install him as minister for the same corrupt institution. To be in the control in of the, call, the, the institution you have called the most corrupt. So then, Museveni, <laughs> even the person that may be not corrupt or whatever, but he's the cause of corruption. He I promotes, appoints people who are corrupt, who are unsuitable, who have abused the others, who have stolen money. Finally, mm -hmm. the Inspector General of Government, Bete Kamiya, mm. recently said he has recovered totally together over two billion mm. shillings stolen from government by civil servants and other public officers. But he doesn't name one not the one does he name who was responsible for that step. Mm. Then I tell everybody, including the Shumba, let us unite together mm. and make a chorus which we shall sing every day. And I, 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 if you like, I, I will be the conductor of that. Museveni okay. resigning now. Museveni resigning now. Okay. Uh, so, in your view, uh, the Banyarwanda question is as a result of the mismanagement and uh, of Mr. Museveni and the team? No, I haven't said so. I have said that the CA, and you cite me in the Constitution, 
we were in the procedures. We were demanded by the, the two sisters who came from Uganda that for us we wanted to be Banyarwanda. Banyarwanda. Okay. Then, no, then the Bahutu, Say who are the ma over, 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 majority, said for us we want to be called Bafumbira. Closing so remarks. So what I have to close this remark, mm -hmm. let those who don't want to be called Banyarwanda in Uganda, including my Gashum. famous visitor, call themselves Banyarwanda. You want them to call themselves Bafumbira? They, yeah, call themselves Bafumbira, because there's no problem with Bafumbira. He has already confessed there's no problem with them. So they should join those if they have in Rwanda. Finally, the other alternative, mm. you see, the SCA made a mistake mm. in the Constitution. Mm. Then you convince Kabasi and Kaihura and others that it was wrong for yourself to, to call us, for us to retain in Rwanda because it is very counterproductive. And we should move a motion to change to it move it and have another name. Why have another day? All the two C's. And it isn't all the two We have one minute all to All the two C's and the Hutu mm -hmm. in the Uganda constitution are called Bafumbia. So why Closing remarks, because Kashumba, secondly, we live here. We are living the here. Right? The tribal, on the historical tribes of Uganda, to be together has never been a tribe. Okay, Gashumba, closing remarks. So, he has tasked you to, uh, to to get the petition and the rest. How far do you think this uh, war will uh, move? Okay, struggle for up another word, and then we we'll close. If, and leave even him. if it takes a month or a year or ten years, but at the end of the day, we must shape a destiny of our people. We have an obligation and a duty to live a better Uganda for our children. I think it's also very important for our senior citizens, uh, justice uh, former. Uh, Kabasi, Kabasi and, and Kru. Kru. to rethink the decision. Kabasi and who? Tabo, Mtabu, 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 believes in what we are doing. For him, the debate is the name. Mm. The debate is the name. Because for him, he believes it's a good Rwanda is an independent it. country. We don't belong to a country called Rwanda. He believes that when you're Rwanda born in Uganda... If you are when you're Rwanda living in Uganda, you call yourself a Mufumbira. Okay, so you are closing your back to the other ones. Who are the two seats? Let's close it. Uh -huh. It doesn't close matter you leave. Leave. when you use it. Uh, that. Those that we school be, must have a culture of debate, disagree, and continue shaking hands. Which we are yeah. doing. Yes. Wonderfully. It's not the culture I see now in Uganda. The moment you disagree with someone, Every insult that you know of will be geared at you. Okay. Uh, I, I so have disagreed okay, with you on this uh, issue fundamentally, but I'm inviting you to have lunch with me uh, and my friend. Okay, <laughs> and I think we should look for Kabasi and have the three of you. Kabasi, you That would be, and, and, and the other one. Who is the, uh, and Mubi. maybe Ka Kaihura, maybe, and, in, and Hunta. No, no. Boy, you, we, you can Tabaru. bring them all. Okay, gentlemen and ladies. Uh, let's keep it with that digi talk. Uh, we cannot thank you enough. May God bless all of you. See you. Some May God time. bless you, Norman. The Alternative Dig Talk. Real issues. Real talk.